talking about the code. So when you will launch the file, you will see currently I'm connected with a Wi-Fi connection and till now I have sent a 2 GB of data and I am receiving data right now. Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from Bharat and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of my old projects that I have created. So recently I've been clearing my old data and deleting all the junk program projects that I have created. And I came across one of the good project that I forgot to share with all of you. So I thought I should share it with you now. So the project is based on this command. So while I was learning about patch programming and I was playing with various commands, I came across the net state minus E command. So what this command does is it tells you through the network interface how much bytes of data you have went through so how much data you have received and sent over the net so what i have done is i have used this information and created a simple project so i'm gonna share that with you in this video so the the project name i have named it as data analyzer that time so you can see the demodified date is last 2016 so it is two years old project and it uses Badbox as the helping plugin. So let me first give you a demo before talking about the code. So when you will launch the file, you will see currently I'm connected with a Wi-Fi connection and till now I have sent a 2 GB of data and I am receiving data right now. So because of the data overflow, the variables are getting reset itself so that's why the incoming data is less than the sending data but in most of the cases the reverse is possible so here as we are talking about so as i'm, I'm downloading some videos from youtube so that the incoming data is increasing rapidly so let's talk about some code and if the code is quite simple you can see it's not that much big it's the code is small it's only of approximate 2 kbs so let me open it it in sublime and you can see here that i have done nothing special just enable the delete expansion and set a string variable with default strings like incoming data and sending data and here i have at that time of when i was learning I this is the first project where I have set a scale so I learned about setting up scales using this technique so I've used for loop and differentiated all the scales and give every scale a value and an ID unique ID so here the count variable stand gave stands for the unique ID of that unit so the byte contains unit 1 kilobyte contains unit 2 and so on up to zeta byte so what i'm doing is i'm check getting the information from net state command and extracting the line containing byte so let me ex expand it a little more so you can see here the net state minus e command gives you this much output but when you will combine it with find command you will see that P Y T E S. Let me write it in double quotes. Uh, okay, the result is case sensitive. So you can see here now this command is not giving a junk a lot of inf information out. It is just giving a single line of code of information. So we are using that line of information and using the for loop. I am. A I'm breaking the line into three parts and the first one is received part and the last one is second send part so here I'm using that information and saving the information into variables and setting up units 
so i am checking up for the setting up the scale so how much mbs or gbs of data is getting sent or received because if as you have seen in the raw format the net state command is not giving me stat is not giving me the information in kilobytes or megabytes it is giving the information in bytes so we have to convert the bytes into the scale we want so here i have checked for the limit and here i am using some string manipulation functions and after manipulating the last three digits so i am getting the floating point values here so this is the trick you can use for calculating the floating points without using any function but this may cost you a lot of efforts and a bigger code so I, I will highly recommend of using the AC function or the standard functions for calculating floating points because this technique is universal but this technique is lengthier so we should not waste time on things that are already done so here after converting the units I am assigning the name to the units because we know now we know that which unit is suitable for our received variable and we know the unit and we are setting of the we are extracting the values of that unit from the unit id that we have assigned a later that we have assigned earlier so after getting the value or, or value and the unit so i am combining all the results here and after giving the name of the unit at the last so you can see this kind of output on the console screen and the same thing is happening with the sent data the data that has been sent out and converting the units and giving them name and assigning values so after that here we are comparing some things and here we this is the sub function which is extracting the values so here i am trying to call the float function which is not in the code and i don't think this is being used so this code we can eliminate that so here we are using go to next and next so delete that that code may be for the research or uh, testing purpose but the function should the program should work fine as you have seen the values are again reset and we are again in the megabyte scale so as we will reach or surpass one value recommend value of the byte uh, the net state command will reset the value to zero so i will close that and let's let's start the program again and see the output is same or not so you can see the same output so the program was modified last modified in 2016 but we have recently modified it so in the details it is now last modified is 2018 but the date created is 2016 so you can see it's a it is a older project so i think you have you will like this project and if you have any doubt or query please feel free to subscribe and ask it in the comments and in the end i'm using bad box to show all the data is at once so i'm going to wrap it up this video here and ask any question for your doubts thanks for watching bye bye feel free to subscribe <laughs> see you <laughs> see you in the next video bye bye